You know, they're everywhere, it seems. Gyms and training centers on almost every corner. Home to workouts planned and goals set, each with a different story behind them. In the case of a gym we found, the workouts and stories may be different, but the goals, the dreams, very much the same. In a nondescript, almost industrial space in South Overland Park, bodies are built, dreams are made. Connor Kaiser, drafted by the Pittsburgh Pirates by way of Blue Valley West and Vanderbilt, now in the minor leagues. Playing the big leagues and win a World Series, that's, that's the goal. Just square, scap in. Mason Green, Olathe Northwest, University of Central Missouri in the Colorado Rockies Good. farm system. I want to be the best pitcher in the major leagues. John Coots, Belton High, power lifter, going for the gold. In this sport, that's the dream. Each athlete sweating, pushing, dreaming. But sometimes dreams and life take you down a different path. For John, that different path was mapped out at birth. While Connor and Mason and others train full body, John uses half of his, the upper half. I have a disability, but I have different abilities. That's how I look at it. Born paralyzed from the waist down, John's looked at it that way from the start. But it was in high school as a football manager that he fell in love with lifting, weights, and spirits. Just one of the guys. I actually went to high school nationals for weightlifting, either my freshman or my sophomore year, and I placed first and I set a record that I still hold against able-bodied people. Two years ago, that drive put John on a global stage in Kazakhstan. He won bronze. What was that like for you? Stressful. Not the competition, but its end. Coming out of high school, John found himself lost and stopped training. I thought I'd be a Division I baseball strength coach. Until he met Nate Hemphill, who had his own dreams. But remember, dreams take different paths. Now, eight years after leaving college coaching dreams behind, Nate owns PSP3, training athletes of all abilities, including Paris. Now, honestly, it was something I never thought I would get involved with, but their stories and the amount of motivation and drive and the sheer amount of like strength that these athletes have is unbelievable. Big breath. He trains John no. in person. Control, drive, control, drive. He trains half a dozen other para-athletes virtually, each dreaming of competing for Team USA and Paralympic gold. I nice shot. Good. Just their willingness and desire to continue to push toward a goal, as a goal is something I think is so cool and so special, which is why I wanted to be a part of it. These athletes want to be part of it too. They see the dreams and John as one of them, able-bodied and motivating. We're, we're always all doing different exercises at the same time, but you get a glimpse. You, you, you peek at what he's doing. You're like, that's impressive. That's impressive. You stop and you put your stuff down and you watch for a little bit. It's, it's fun, it's awesome, and it's, it's inspiring. Because when you look at John, you know, he has limitations. It's like, well, let's go. You know, it's just like, he's not making excuses. He's getting after it, and that, that's how you should be, so. Like you, he has a dream. That's right. And really, that's part of John's dream, too. A disability? Perhaps. But he prefers you focus on his ability. Every day, I work around it. I accommodate myself. I make things happen. One thing John wants to make happen, making Team USA in March, the first step toward qualifying for the 2024 Paralympics. Tomorrow morning, his trainer, Nate, flies out for the country of Georgia, where he'll serve as one of the coaches at the World Para Powerlifting Championships for Team USA. Another new path, another dream come true.